Light blue night moon walks over my aching skin and asks me for the time, like a reverse sundial. Each hour I should have spent sleeping passes like shadows until light of new dawn drools over these fog-lined hills. I stayed up waiting for dreams to come and rested my hands in a nest the fingers of your ghost made for me. Loneliness. Come and wind yourself into my heart like a pacemaker. Keep time with these soft murmur ticks. Come and smooth these hiccups of composure when I realize the sound of your death will always possess the deafening tones of impact. You are nothing but a collection of memories now. Smoke and vapor, the form of which is hard to discern clearly unless it is dark enough to see the halo of your face illuminated against the backs of my eyelids. I only remember what you look like if I stop chasing your smile at breakneck speed, have to let it wash over me like a magnolia blossom unfolding slowly over my head in the heat of summer evenings. You are the muted grind of a rusted spade through soft earth, the feeling of treading my fingers through passing water, the long pull of exhale after holding my breath in for too long. I miss you. It sounds hollow and cheap, like a discarded Colmar card and rotten teeth after too much Valentine sweetness. It has been years, and still I haven't properly paid my respects, but I have trouble visiting cemeteries these days. Used to seek them for quiet and solace until they filled with too many familiar voices. The headstones stare me down omniscient, gently repeating with each date and surname my past. Someday, this will be yours. How do you want me to read? I have you to thank for the reminder that if you live in the past, you will miss what is present. I can't expect these stitches to stay neatly folded into my skin, holding these tattered pieces of us together when I keep pulling them out. Loving something is learning when to let go and trust it will ride the wind alone. I'm sorry, but I can't join you yet. I'm not ready to let this candle sputter out. There are tasks left unfinished, children waiting to be born, poems I have not yet written, and people who have yet to save my life like you did. So until then, I've made my heart a magnolia tree, nested buds each bearing your face in its limbs. Come, unfold. I will keep this place safe, and we can watch the night pass together. Woo!